everyone today I will show you how to build a computer before I jump to what the hardware looks like what they where you need to put them together what you'll need I want to talk a little bit about the parts that you'll need what you'll have to buy and what's necessary and maybe what's optional uh, first I want to start off with saying that I'm sorry about the little buzzing you may hear in the audio is because this is a new mic my old one broke yesterday and until I get this one replaced this is the best that I can do right now of <clears throat> let's get started I'll be spending about a minute on each component and no more than that so let's start off with one of the most important parts which is the motherboard it supplies the information from one component to another it literally connects everything uh, for my build right now I'll be using the MSI ATX AMD motherboard so as you can tell the computer will be AMD and not Intel uh, it's just as good most of the computers I've built in the past have been all AMD because they're cheaper and they're just as good uh, this is what the motherboard actually looks like but I'll be showing you the actual thing when I'm building later on so you have an idea of what it looks like I'll show you all the different connections it has okay next important part I'm sure you may know about this this is the CPU uh, without the CPU the computer wouldn't be able to run properly probably wouldn't run at all it actually wouldn't run at all it processes all the information and it's connected directly into the motherboard for this one I'll be using the AMD Athlon two quad core CPU 2.9 gigahertz quad core CPU and this is what it looks like that's the uh, the case the box actually I'll be opening it up later on I'll show you what it looks like on the inside it's not the actual computer case as some people my may show you I tell you I've had computer professors in the past which described the whole computer as the CPU which is incorrect it's actually a little chip it has a lot of pins it connects directly to the motherboard next it's the PSU it's a power source unit without this the computer wouldn't even turn on without the motherboard you can power things such as the hard drive this the DVD drive you obviously won't get anywhere but they'll still power on but without the PSU nothing will work for this build I'll be using the OCZ is a stealth extreme 600 watt PSU it's pretty heavy it's uh, I'll show you what that looks like as well it has this is what it looks like uh, basic picture it has a lot of wires it connects directly to the motherboard it connects to every component including the hard drive the DVD drive even the graphics card in some cases. I uh, speak on the graphics card. That's the next component. Is the GPU, it's the graphics card. I uh, this is this is one of the optional parts because some motherboards already have a graphics card installed within it, but the graph the motherboard I'll be using doesn't have one. So I'll be installing the EVGA GeForce GT220 GPU. It's not the best graphics card out there, but this was one of the last components I bought for this computer. And by by the time I bought it, I was low on funds. I couldn't do any better than this right now. I want to go for something better, maybe something in the four GT400 series, but money wouldn't have it. Uh, this is what it looks like. I will show you what it actually looks like later on. It's a pretty good card. I tested it out on this computer. I played several games with it, including Battlefield Bad Company 2, Left 4 Dead 2. Counter Strike and Killing Floor, and they all run perfectly fine. Next one is the hard drive. This isn't optional or necessary. Uh, it's not optional because you'll need to store the information somehow, and it's not necessary because the computer will run without the hard drive attached. I mean, you'll be able to get through the BIOS. You can even install, you can even run an operating system from a flash drive or even a floppy drive. But a hard drive is necessary if you want to go. If you're going to use a computer in the long run. For this one, I'll be using the Seagate Barracuda one terabyte hard drive. It's 7200 RPM. It's pretty fast, but there are faster ones. Uh, there are some that are 10,000 RPMs. I showed you this one before in a build, in a test that I did a few weeks ago. I put the video on YouTube actually. You can look at that and see how you can install a hard drive 
by itself without in, without building a whole computer there. It's pretty good. I tested it out on both Windows 7 and Windows XP. You can look at that video if you want. Next part is also necessary. I'll be using RAM, random access memory. Without these, without the memory card, the computer wouldn't turn on. You'll still get power, but you'll probably the motherboard will most likely make a few beeping noises telling you that there is no RAM or the RAM is faulty. For this build, I'll be using a data 4GB DDR3 SD RAM. Uh, this is the first time I'll be using a data as a brand. I've used other brands before; they're all pretty good. This one was recommended to me, so I hope it doesn't disappoint. I've used other brands such as Corsair, Kingston, Ultra, and uh, a few others. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's blue. It's shiny. It, it has a heat sink on it. It's pretty good for gaming. Uh, uh, they've been recommended to me, so I hope it doesn't disappoint. Next one is the case. Uh, just like the hard drive, this isn't necessary or optional because if you're new to computer building, you don't know how to handle things, I would recommend you get a case. But I have seen people improvise, such as make home-built computers, but they are experts. They usually know what to do, how to avoid it, static shocks, how to avoid from destroying the whole, compu whole computer, and from killing themselves because if you touch the wrong part, you can electrocute yourself. For this build, I'll be using the Rosewell Challenger. It's an ATX mid-tower case. It has three fans included in it, including a 140mm fan and 220mm fans. It also has room for upgrades. I believe you can add at least two more 120mm fans. This is a great gaming computer. Gaming computers can get hot, just like the one I have right now, and you need a lot of fans to keep it cool. This is what it looks like. It has blue LED in the front. You'll see what it actually looks like later on. Next part is something I would say is optional. It's a DVD drive. It can be a CD drive. It doesn't have to be a burner. It just needs something to run the operating system. But I'm saying this is optional because you can run an operating system from a flash drive or even a floppy drive. You can install it on the hard drive. And if you have an operating system already installed on the hard drive, let's say, you don't even need the DVD drive to run the computer. It'll run perfectly fine without it. But since the hard drive I'll be using is empty, it doesn't have anything inside, I'll have to be installing an operating system. Most likely I'll be doing Windows 7, if not Linux. But for that I need a DVD drive. So I have, I'm using a light on, it's a DVD burner. It's simple, it's SATA and it looks just like this I think this is an optional part you don't even need it next these are the eight components that I'll be using these are the ones that I bought for this computer there are some parts that you may also need for example the anti-static wrist strap uh, if you don't know how to remove static from your body I recommend you get this because if you touch the wrong component and you have some static on you you can render the whole component useless if it's attached to the computer you might end up destroying the whole computer but if you don't want to buy this you can remove static by touching something that's grounded you can also touch your computer case that helps sometimes but one that works really well is by touching a metal faucet perhaps in your kitchen or your bathroom or even a grounded door something that's metal I even touch windows, closet doors, it really doesn't matter, so, as long as you don't have any static on you, you should be fine. Next one is the operating system. This is something extra. I'll be installing most likely Windows 7, if not Linux, a version of Linux. I have CentOS, Fedora, several. And this isn't optional or even necessary. Again, just like some of the other components, you can run this from a flash drive. Uh, the computer will run without this, you just won't get very far. And another thing that you'll probably need is a screwdriver. Uh, you can do with a Phillips head or even a flat head. For this case I'll be using a screwdriver, but I have worked with cases where you don't need one at all because they have some sort of clip, clip um, clips on the case that attach everything including the motherboard and hard drives.
Uh, well, these are just the parts that I'll be using. Well, not all of them, but these are the parts you may need for your own computer belt. Uh, soon, I'll be building the computer. Uh, I'll show you where everything goes, what connects to what. Well, stay tuned for the second part of the video, the video series. Uh, I'll show you where everything goes. Thanks for watching.